In this tutorial, I wanna show you how to create these cool gradient blend effects in Adobe Illustrator. So I hope you've been having a solid day. I wanna show you this cool effect that I love playing around with when I'm working with gradients, when I'm working with you know, texture, or just wanna make a background for an illustration or a design. So first up, you can see we've got this sort of layout here. And what we wanna to do to create this is actually create a blend with a circle. So I'm going to duplicate this artboard. What you wanna do is sort of create a gradient. So for this gradient, I've got sort of like a uh, orangey peach color to a light green to a grass green. And it's just at 90 degrees angle, as you can see there. Now what I'm gonna do is press L for the ellipse tool, make a just a white circle, and I'm gonna press Shift X to make it a stroke. I'll make the stroke maybe about five points. I'll make it really small. Then what I'm gonna do is press Control C, Control F to paste it in front. And then I'm gonna scale it all the way up like this. Now, what I wanna do, just wanna make sure that the stroke size is the same width. And I'm just gonna quickly turn my scale strokes on, that's fine. And what I'm going to do is select the both of these shapes. And then what I'm gonna do is press W and then click on the top one and then the bottom one like that, or vice versa. I'm gonna hold Option or Alt on my keyboard. And then what I'm gonna do is change the spacing option to spe specified steps. Then I'm gonna scale that amount up to how much you want. You don't wanna to go too much, but I think around 20 is a nice. Now I'm press OK. Beautiful. So now what I can quickly do is, obviously I can make a clipping mask, but all I wanna do now is just go to my transparency panel. So you can see my transparency, and I'm gonna go change it to color dodge. So once you do that, you can see that it will start to have an interesting effect. So I just wanna play around. As you can see there, it's starting to blend, which is nice, as you can see. To make it a little bit nicer, what we can actually do is just go back to Color Dodge, and we wanna change it to the green light color, or even the yellow color. As you can see there, I've changed it with my swatch panel. You can even do the green, uh, see what the orange looks like. So I'm just changing the colors to see which one works best. And this green one looks nice, and you can see it has a nice blending effect, which makes it pop. I can click um, overlay, which doesn't work too well. Screen works all right here. Um, and then I think even soft light might do the trick. As long as you like change the colors there, it's gonna work really, really well. Beautiful. So another cool effect, doing the same effect, what you can actually do, instead of just doing a stroke, we wanna make it a gradient. So you can see here, we can actually get this really cool effect here. So once again, what I'm gonna do is make a circle. For this one, I'm going to use my gradient tool and I'm gonna choose a nice dark greeny color here. And I'm gonna click radial gradient as you can see, make sure that it's on the fill. And I'm just gonna go back and change the color there. And in the middle section, I'm just gonna make the opacity zero, All right? I'm also gonna duplicate this green and make that zero like this. Then what I'm gonna do is turn multiply on I'll shift the stops there just to make it a bit more tight, the blend here, as you can see. Then once again, we're going to do the same thing we did before. Control C, Control F, scale that all the way up. Just gonna bring this to the bottom. And then what we want to do is press W on that and then the back. And the same thing, hold Alt Option, increase the steps and scale it up. And what I can do is just make a quick rectangle hold shift and then press F3, which is my shortcut for clipping mask or go to object. And then you can go um, clipping mask make. And then boom, you get this cool effect. I'll double click on it just to scale it. So you can see just like that. Sort of looks like the Looney Tunes vibe, but it looks really cool, really fun. So you can play around with that. You can obviously do different effects. So for this one, I'm using, let's see, uh, I'm using screen with a gradient like this. So 0% opacity and that same green as the background. It's usually good that you select the similar colors to the background so it makes it pop like that. You can see we get this nice overlay effect. It looks like a layered paper or um, you know clouds or whatever you want to call it. So I want to show you how to create this cool effect now. Basically the same concept as before, but instead of circles, we are going to use a rectangle. So I'm just going to press M 
and make a quick rectangle like this. And you want to have a nice gradient in the back. So my gradient is a three stop color, a one orange, one mid um, tone or, uh, blue, and then a dark navy there at 90 degrees. Now for the square here, what I want to do is I want to just get rid of this gradient, make a linear gradient, and I want to use the same colors as the blue. So I'm going to use a blue here, and then I might use the orange, and then I'm going to, the orange will be like 0%. I'm going to click the reverse button, which flips it. So you can see, let's flip it like that. Then what I'm going to do is click o, uh, mo multiply. I'm going to scale this down a little bit. I think doing the orange instead, you can just do the blue. It has a nicer blend as you can see there. Just depends what type of effect you want. It looks similar. And then what I'm going to do is same thing, duplicate it, hold shift, select them both, click on both shapes to get the blend tool going. And then we can do it like that. And there you have it. I can change the to color dodge. I can change it to overlay, soft light, um, and multiply gets the dark version effect. And I can just drop the opacity down as you can see here, which looks pretty nice. And that's how you get that cool effect. And obviously like you can rotate it and do clipping masks. So maybe if I want like a weird shape or something like this, I can make a clipping mask. I'll just scale this up a little bit bigger. So it's actually within the shape and you can create like cool little shapes here and like play around. Maybe I want to duplicate it or like do something else with it or something. Yeah, you can just play around with it. But overall, this is the effects that you can get. I just flipped the gradients around. This one's a multiply one. Looks nice with the orange there. And if I show you the gradient, you can see the gradient there, what it looks like. And then this one was a color dodge effect with the gradient going that way. And that, there you have it. That's how you create this cool Looney Tunes like slash gradient effect for, it could be for background and illustration or even a graphic. So really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Remember to smash the like button because it helps the video out. And also remember to subscribe for more graphic design tutorials and design content every week. Love you. Take it easy. Have a great one.